how to use EPS files as patterns in Photoshop. Now, first thing to do, file and open, and then select an EPS file. Now, these are illustrated ones, but you could use Affinity, you could use Inkscape, etc. Set a width and height. I'm gonna go for a thousand and set the resolution, I'm gonna go for 300 and RGB. Once you've done that, resize the design, just slightly redesign it so it's not near the edges. Click OK. What you can then do, edit and define pattern. And that's it, you've defined pattern, you've got that design. But you can also do more. So image and image size, you can set the size down to say like 200 and then go to edit and define pattern. So you can just quickly redefine it and create a new pattern from that. Right, now I'm just gonna to go to a blank document and I'm going to edit and fill. Make certain it's pattern for the, and then set the custom pattern. I'm just gonna use the one that was 200 by 200. Set the script and random fill. You could use one of the others as well and click okay. Comes up with the panel and you can then change the scale, density, etc., and just apply it. And now you've got your wonderful design very quickly and easily created. Now I'm undoing that. What you can also do is layer and new fill layout and pattern and use the pattern as well. Just select the pattern there and also set the scale as well. And there's some of the early examples that I've actually been working on doing test runs. So I'm just gonna go back to that one, click OK. What you can also do is layer and duplicate the layer. Now this is still the EPS design. You can then just move that around and use another pattern layer. So you've got two pattern layers there. So you can build up and create all kinds of different patterns. Now file and open, and I'm just gonna select another one. That's a two dot EPS file. Again, set the size. Now it could be a 10,000 by 10,000 or a thousand by a thousand, up to you. Also RGB or CMYK, etc. Just resize slightly and then layer and smart objects and convert into a smart object. Now as a smart object, what you can do is you can go to image adjustments and hue and saturation and set change the color very quick and easy. You can also apply effects via filter, something like lens flare or blurs. You can add layer styles and those sort of things as well. Again, edit and define pattern. Click OK. So layer and new fill layout and pattern. Click OK, and then you've got the design there with that lens flare. And you can set the scale, so you can go for 10, 20, 40, whatever. Obviously, if you go beyond 100, it's more blurry. But like I say, you can resize it at any point, so you can actually open the document, file and open, an open document, 10,000 by 10,000, to create a really big document. Now I'm just gonna go with file, and now, instead, I'm using the place command, file and place. So what you can do then, you can just, it's a layer. So just go to the layers panel and find that in the window menu, layers. And again, you can delete the background. Once you've deleted the background, you can then just go to edit and define pattern. And then you've got this lovely pattern design and you can still resize it as well. And then you can go and define it again if you want. So edit and define pattern, click okay. What you can do, you can also image, because it's a smart object, so you can go to image and adjustments and hue and saturation and more, some of the other adjustments as well. And again, you can see that down in the layers there. You can see the smart filters, hue saturation. And again, edit and define pattern, click OK. Now going back to a completely, well, now empty document. What you can do then is layer and new fill layer and pattern. Click OK, and you can see the pattern fill that I've just added. So you're just down there, it's selected, or you can use one of those ones. And again, you can set the scale, say 10, 20, click OK. What you can do then, layer and duplicate again, click OK, and shift that around. You can just move that around and position it anywhere. So you can create all kinds of patterns and combinations of patterns. So you can maybe have different colored designs of these dots or whatever object that's an EPS file. So you can just keep adding those different designs. Right. We well, can do file and new. I'm just going to create a new document. Right. 
in a set for 300. I'm going to create a small document. Now, the reason for the small document, because I'm actually going to use one, the edit and fill. So three, there, place. So you've done that. So it's file and place, and you just bring in that EPS file, and then you can duplicate it. Just duplicate it, hold down the Alt key or Option key, and drag to just duplicate that EPS design. Now, once you've actually got those layers there, just going to remove the bottom layer there just by clicking the delete. So you've got three layers there in the layers. And edit and define pattern. Click OK. Now, just come find an empty document. Right. Just get rid of those. And once you've done that, what you can do is edit and fill. And again, go and select that pattern that I've just added. So I'm just going to go select that one. And again, random fill, set that option, run it. You can change the settings, you can vary the settings different times, but you can just run, edit and fill, and you can run it again, click OK. Again, you can see the settings. I've got fairly small settings for scale factor. Click OK, run it again, and so on, so on. You can just keep reapplying it. And the reason I went for a smaller design for that pattern, 300 by 300, is because sometimes the preview doesn't exactly match when you go with a bigger document. So just keep applying it over and over and over again. And that's it. You've got a great way of creating all kinds of designs from those EPS files. And of course, you can use something more complex than, say, something very simple than a circle. But you can use much more complex EPS designs than that. Maybe EPS designs with text in, those sorts of things. What you can also do is, go, of course, once you've actually applied it all, combined it all, you can just go to filter and then maybe blur it using or distort it using things like oil paint. I hope you found this of interest. Please subscribe. I'm always adding new videos all the time. And also please add some comments. Always great to hear from you. Thank you much.